guys and welcome back to my channel today I have a really really exciting video for you um, so this is before we've even started this project so hopefully it all turns out as planned we've actually bought about six weeks ago the Kmart cubby um, that has been all over Pinterest and Facebook and Instagram everyone's been doing them up um, and I was lucky enough to be able to get my hands on one of the last ones around um, just stumbling through Kmart and there it was so I was really really lucky because I know a lot of people missed out on them and things so yeah so we've got all the bits we've just been to Bunnings and bought all of the paint um, and we've got all the pieces spread out my husband Simon is just going through all of the instructions at the moment trying to work out if we're going to be able to fit it in the gate because we're going to paint it in the garage so um, we've actually kind of left this to the last minute as is what happens with most things that you're like we need to build this weeks and weeks beforehand and um and then you don't so so let's see how we go okay so here it is all in pieces nothing's painted yet you're holding it together yeah and he's just charging up his new drill came with a piece that's annoying oh look See? Don't have to mm. Cool. All right, so these are the paint colors that we chose. So the main part of the cubby is going to be this beautiful gray color it's just a really light gray and then we're going to do the edgings in it's just a white it's called star white that's the one we chose and then if this is a beautiful really light pink that we chose for the door so and that's called luminous pink <music> So we are back now with day two of painting so day one was a very long four hours painting um, and I'll show you what we got done okay so we painted we finished the first coat of the gray um, completely inside and outside so all these edge pieces that you can see will be painted white um, we also did one side of this one coat and also that so yeah so today I'm going to aim to get the second coat on of this and by looking at this I think I'm hoping that it's only going to need one more coat and then we'll be done with that and yeah I'm going to see if I can get a head start on the door and also painting white some of these other pieces um, because on the main part of it I'm going to have to put a lot of masking tape on so we don't get the gray so I want that to be completely dry so I'm not going to start any white on here today um, but yes hopefully we can get a lot more done okay so I have just um, not long finished doing the second coat on everything um, you probably can't really tell much difference I just feel like it's definitely a lot more even I didn't actually film any of us filming 
um, sorry, any of us painting um, the second lot because it was all pretty much the same as we did yesterday. Um, there were a few new bits though. So these are kind of like the roof bits. They were black. So they're gonna need another coat because if you can see, if we just zoom in there, yeah, so you can see how you can still kind of see the black there. Um, but those roof bits are done. Um, those corner pieces are done and I just need to do those ones tonight. So then they will be finished. They are like all the ledges and stuff, so they're nearly done. And we realized that the door, which was originally black, um, probably doesn't need another coat. So I'm going to hopefully go over that. Um, so yes, yeah, so I finished all of that. Um, Simon painted the flower boxes white. So yeah, so I've got those bits to go and be white. It's so much more of like a lengthy process than I kind of imagined. Like I knew that we'd have to do extra coats and things like that, but I guess I didn't really think about um, like how long we'd wait in between doing coats, things like that. So really happy with our progress, um, hoping to have most of the painting kind of done tomorrow. Um, and then got a few bits and pieces to go out and buy for decorating it so yeah excited um i don't know if i even mentioned that this is for grace's second birthday um this is her main present so yeah anyway i'll check in when there is more to share all right so i'm onto the door now it's 8 30 kids are in bed um simon's just got home from work and just thought I would get a start on the door. So as I said before, um, the door was black and so we've put um, a grey coat on it and I did it quite thick. Um, but yeah, it was kind of, it kind of covered it quite well so I didn't feel like I needed to do it again. And look at this pink. Isn't that just beautiful? So yeah, I've got a um, half litre paint here so that, um, so I should be able to do quite a few um, coats because this is the only thing I'm doing pink, so. Good morning guys, so we are now painting day three. Um, last night, as you can see a little bit we did do some of like the edging so this morning I'm really focusing on I'm going to be putting some more I've just done one line there of the masking tape and then going to be doing the edges um, yeah so last night we kind of focused on trying to get like the main kind of bits of white like just the first coat so as you can see some of the edges um, I didn't do because it was quite hard to stay in the line some I did it just took forever um, oh, Yeah, wanting to do a different color. I can now understand why why people have just stuck with the one color um, a lot of people just did it white which did look beautiful um, I just kind of had my heart set on doing it gray with the white trim kind of thing um, Have a look at the door has come up quite nice and that's only the, this is only like the first coat. So as you can see, there's a bit of, like you can definitely see it needs to be redone, but happy with the color. Yeah, I feel like we've made really good progress. It's just now, yeah, just trudging along and just keep on keeping on. Um, we're gonna have to go back to Bunnings today and get some more white paint because we only got um, half a liter of that. I think we didn't quite realize how much of the trim stuff there actually kind of was. So, um, miss kind of calculated that a bit, but you just never know. Like I've never done anything like this before. So. So we have finished, we finished all the painting last night 
and we've just moved it into the backyard so I'll let you see where we're up to all right so Simon's just had to go to work I've just bought this mat it was actually the only outdoor mat I could find there was like nothing else um, available that's actually like a charcoal gray and then a white and then obviously the roof has to go on so we'll put that on once all the kids have gone to bed tonight um because grace hasn't seen it painted like this so it looks pretty good doesn't it um we've got some num a number two that's going to go on here i bought flowers today which are going to go in there um and yeah look oh looks so good i'm so excited to see what it all looks like like all of our hard work is now you know nearly finished so that's pretty exciting so yes i'll be back when i'm decorating all right guys it is very late we're on the um we're on the last little bit of getting it done so we still have to put the handle on and the number on and like the bell and stuff. Um, I'm just about to do the flowers. So did I mention it's past 11 o'clock at night? I've just finished wrapping all Grace's presents and things. Um, Simon should have been home by now, but work is really busy at the moment. So the roof is still not on yet. <laughs> so hopefully this all just comes together. He said he's going to wake me up when he gets home, but... Who knows how long it's going to take me to do the flower arrangements. I've just put the mat down. The light. I'm so sorry about the lighting. I was trying to, I was going to get this all done earlier, but then the kids and... Good morning. It's Grace's birthday. Is it your birthday? Mm -hmm. 